Vlog day 647. Good morning. It is Wednesday for you, which means today is right early Wednesday. It's Tuesday for me. I got something in my eye. It's good to be back in sunny, summery Paris, or at least a full-on springy Paris, and it's lovely. I was going to talk to you today for right early Wednesday about why it is that I like to write. There are a couple of reasons, but specifically one in particular, which is that you can do it solo, which is really important when you're on a creative pursuit. But we'll get to that here in a second. In the meantime, I need to go get some coffee with Pushan. We lost a day of travel together, obviously, so we figured that we would have coffee this morning at least, so we could debrief and talk about some interesting turns of events, including the fact that I just got offered an industry pass to VidCon in Anaheim, which is really, really cool. I think I'm going to take it. I wrote them back to say that I would take it, and the reason that I, the only reason I'm hesitating is because, well, I guess I'm kind of intimidated by it. So that's a whole other thing. That's a, that's a completely different subject. Topic. My beard is nuts. I'm, I'm going to shave it soon. It's spring. It's warm. Time to get rid of this thing. I'll explain that. I, I, let's just go get coffee with Pusha. I'm all over the place. Let's get coffee with Pusha. time with Pushan now to get the uh, you know whole work thing underway a little bit behind still got to work on the balancing working while traveling thing but um, we had a great trip so it was worth it very tilted. The sunshine is in full force, as you can see in here. Oh my gosh. So it's time to get out of here. I have my dummy baguette, and um, these are some of the chips we bought. We bought a lot of chips while we were in Scotland. These are haggis flavored chips because we didn't get to eat any haggis. Sorry, we were going to do that yes last night and uh, didn't get around to it. Thank you, Air France. And then some mature cheddar and onion. We'll see how these are. Yeah, that's that's my, my, my share of the chip swag. Anyways, I got to gather my stuff and get down. One of the other things that's coming up potentially that I did a video on this a long time ago, one of my old French Fridays was how to cuss in French. If you're interested in learning how to cuss in French, I'm thinking about making a French Friday about that again. It will definitely be PG-13 if not rated R, uh, just to forewarn you when that comes. So I will make sure to put a parental guidance warning at the beginning, uh, but it's the kind of stuff your French teacher never teaches you and you should know. And uh, I'm going to get some consultation from Pushan and a few others just to make sure that I use all of those words correctly. And in the meantime, let's get out of here and go get some work done. This is going on Patreon today, by the way. We mean to do it for the last few days. It's finally going, it's going up. Are you being mean? I don't know what's in this or who this is from. Oh, it's a backpack. Oh wow. This is like an even nicer version than the one I used to have. Thank you, Kim. I'm gonna put this to use pretty much right away. Banana the tea cam. This was tea left over from the Ritz that then she took home and then shipped back to me. So it's been it's transatlantic tea now. No, you can find with it wood. He's grabbing a quick lunch with this one. He's limping because he finished a marathon recently, which is impressive in and of itself. It's something I don't think I will ever do. And I'm getting a lot done on the Kickstarter front today, which is really important, and I'll talk more about that in a bit. But first, lunch. Oh, 
I just burnt the side of my face. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. It should have been a glue. It was too hot. When he couldn't break it in half without burning himself, that's not gonna go. Not using my brain. Bike about got tons of new bikes, so give him one a spin so that uh, little Gimpy over here can get a ride out instead of walking out. It's one of the main reasons I actually don't want to do a marathon. I feel like it would destroy me. I would fall apart. Why do you I felt fine, huh? was good. It's the after that got you, huh? Yeah. I'm not even sure what happened. Uh -huh. Alright, let's ride a bike. Oh. In first gear? Yeah. What is this? Wow, that's really first gear. This is another really funny one. They do uh, hoverboard tours, but they pretty much never make it out of the parking lot. Because nobody can really ride them. Oh man, I'm so happy spring is here. that I like writing so much is because it's something I can do by myself. Like you can tell an entire story from start to finish by yourself without needing to worry too much about collaborating until you need to produce the book, which is right now. And then you've got to run around trying to keep everybody on the same page. Some people are very, very good and on the ball, like my designer, Jake, he's, he's amazingly fast. He's right on there. And then others, sometimes it takes a little bit more work to run people down and, and get what you need out of them. That's only one little portion of the process though. Most of it, when you're writing, you're spending all this time like actually creating a story and putting it together, you get to do it by yourself, which is really, really nice. And we are making some good progress on the Kickstarter side of things and producing the book. It's looking really good. I'm really excited to share more with you. Yeah, that's it. I mean, really, I really like to write because it's you can sit and you can get in your own head and you can just spend all this time developing your own story and working on it. And of course, the nice part is then you don't, I mean, it is really nice to collaborate on certain things, but collaboration brings its own tricky bits. And that's another reason why I like vlogging. You done for the day? Yeah. But, oh, you're filming. I am, yeah. See you tomorrow or, well, next, next week. Also, apparently, some uh, there there's some stickers that have sold today. I just met Maria today, I believe. Maria, right? Nice to meet you today. Sorry if I if it's Marie, or not Maria. Thanks, Maria. If you want to come down and grab a sticker anytime from the Peloton, you're more than welcome to do so. They've got them there, and you get a year off your coffee if you grab a sticker. So definitely well worth your while. Which brings me to another thing. I don't remember what the other thing is though, and there's a lot. There are a lot of people coming, so we'll figure out the other thing later. But I'm also gonna go to the park today, as voted on by my patrons. Oh yeah, camera four. It's up on Patreon. If you want, if you're a three dollar and up patron, you can put your name in the hat and grab that whole camera. It's all, it's all yours. This backpack is like the deluxe version of my old one. The straps, for one, are more than just like the old strap was just like this part right here. That's basically it. This thing, it's all padded, has like a space for a camelback, extra like lower straps if I want. This is amazing. Thank you. I'm really, I'm already really enjoying this. It's like getting back to normal with an upgrade. It's awesome. All right, I'm gonna try and find some food to take with me to the park. I'm gonna go have a little bit of a picnic in the park. Something, I'll grab a sandwich or something like that. Head to Boot Chaumont. I'll show you guys Boot Chaumont. It's a beautiful park. It's huge and incredible. And uh, and then we'll, you know, probably call it a night from there, but I guess we'll wait and find out. And off we go. I got some snacks, food, hummus, peppers. I'm hoping they're pepadoos. They look like they could be pepadoos, but I'm kind of guessing they're gonna be more vinegary than sweet. So when talking about writing and how I like being able to complete projects alone, part of the reason is because a lot of times when you go to complete projects with other people, they fall apart or they get to later. Things are just a lot more challenging the more people you have involved. And I found that to be true when I made videos with people before. Back when I used to make skits and things like that on video, I enjoyed doing that. 
but at the same time, I'm not a big fan of like all the additional work that comes with having to wrangle all those people together. As much fun as the final product can be. And writing is great because there's no limit. There's no limit to the budget, to the time frame. You can tell whatever kind of story you want. As far as your imagination and capacity to communicate that, it will take you. Which is why I love it. I love writing for that reason. But it's also one of the reasons why I get a little bit intimidated by something like going to VidCon, for example. Because it invites a little bit of that messiness of people. And while I really enjoy that, and I've enjoyed getting to know more YouTubers over time and I enjoyed the social aspects of VidCon here and I think that there's a lot more professional development to be had at the VidCon in Anaheim especially on the industry track. I'm really excited for all that stuff. I guess I just get a little bit intimidated by being surrounded by a bunch of other people who make great videos, do amazing things and uh, yeah not knowing where the lines are, wanting to connect, collaborate but also not always being the best collaborator and just kind of generally being a little bit nervous about it. I don't know. Again, some hesitations there. It's also an additional cost, obviously, going from New Orleans to Los Angeles for a few days, but a cost that I think will be worth it. And I have couches I can stay on, so it's not a huge uptick in that. And I think that the benefit is really there. I think that there is some real development to be had there. So, thoughts that I've been having. Anyways, onto the picnic, ready to eat. Why you keep It was a good picnic, Bouchamont. So I had to look this up again because I wasn't sure. It was built under Napoleon III. And before that, this was the site where they actually displayed the carcasses of hung criminals. And then they turned it into a refuse dump as well as a place where they cut up the carcasses of horses. I didn't find out what else they did with the carcasses of horses. There's a lot of excitement going on over here though. So <laughs> that's the end of that. I think they, they, they found a wonderful flowering tree. Anyways, this place used to stink. It used to be disgusting, and then they turned it into a lovely park, and it's older than I thought. I thought it was built for a World's Fair, but it was not. It was built under Napoleon III, so there you go. That giant N showing up everywhere, as usual. Bug mania. How do you feel about the bugs, Cheryl? No. <laughs> no, it's a bug. Great spot for a picnic. Great spot to hang out. Beautiful park. Beautiful views. Definitely come here. Anyways, that's the end of that. And I think the end of the vlog. I have no idea what's happening behind me. I have a feeling. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it was a wonderful time out here. Definitely come check this out. I'm going to leave it here, but if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. You can also check out Cheryl's channel at some point. She, if you, if you know me, you know Cheryl. You already know Cheryl's channel, but I will still link to it below, and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for who knows what. Thank you.